Let's take a look at the Kenner Star Wars toy that upset the princess herself, Carrie Fisher. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. Yes, it's that time again. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to tell you how Princess Leia herself, Carrie Fisher, didn't like the figure based on her from the Star Wars Micro Collection and got it changed. And then the designers had a little fun. Now, before I tell you about that, as always, you can head to patreon.com, links in the description below, or you can become a YouTube member and get exclusive content. Every Monday, of course, we do a live show at 7 p.m. Eastern, and starting next week, we're going to do an after show for supporters only. Should be a lot of fun. And as always, you can go to that, and as always, you can go to that junk, blah, blah, blah. as always, you can go to junkmanmerch.com. And buy some t-shirts to help support the channel like this one right here you know you love that one we all do so let's get into it and talk about this Carrie Fisher die cast action figure well I guess it's not an action figure micro collection do you call those action figures they don't have any action so I guess not in 1980 Star Wars released the Kenner in 1980 Kenner released the Star Wars micro collection this was a pretty cool set. They had little themes and they were hooked together. This was a pretty cool set. You could buy them each as a scene or buy them as a world play set where you got all three scenes together at once. The line didn't sell well and got canceled pretty early on. But to me, it always was a great line that needs more love than it's gotten. There was the Death Star world, Hulk world, the Bespin world. I had them as a kid, at least some of them, and they were a lot of fun. But I guess you can kind of understand why they didn't sell well. One thing, they were smaller, they didn't have that much play value, they looked good sitting up, and already the Star Wars figures were a huge success, and this was Kenner asking parents who were already spending a lot of money on the action figures and ships to buy more, just smaller. So you can see where parents probably said, hey, little Johnny, I'll buy you some more of the figures, but we're not starting a whole new collection. Now to design these figures, they first made a, what they call a 4-up. Now I know what you're thinking. That's the mushroom in Super Mario Brothers that gives you a free man. No, that's a 1-up. We're talking a 4-up. Of course the die-cast figures were small, so when the Kenner designers had to work on making the figures, they made the prototypes four times the size of the die-cast. This is so they could get the details of the figures needed for the playset. Now it wasn't standard practice for the actors to all come in and get approval for every little toy they made. But for some reason, or we don't really know, it's been lost in the history of time. And sadly, Carrie Fisher is no longer with us so we can get her side of the story. Still miss you, Carrie. Anyway, she saw this four-up prototype of the Princess Leia figure diecast figure that was going to come with the Death Star Escape playset and there was something she just didn't like about it. To her there was something that was out of proportion that was a little bigger than what she felt Princess Leia had and you probably think I'm talking about a purse but Princess Leia didn't carry a purse unless you talk about the EU but I'm not getting into the EU here we're talking the movies. So what was it Carrie didn't like about this prototype Princess Leia diecast figure. Well, diecast got back. Apparently, at least to Carrie Fisher, the butt was a little too big for this diecast figure. If you ask me, looking at the photos of it, it doesn't look all that out of proportion to me. Let's take a look at it. This is the 4 prototype. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than the standard diecast figure. And there's that gluteus maximus, that round bubble of joy, Princess Leia's bottom. But to me, it really doesn't look anything that unusual. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. She looks like one of those rap guy's girlfriends. But we can't really say we can't compare it to the one that was released. So let's take a look at the diecast Carrie Fisher butt. Sorry I couldn't find a very good photo of it or a very good angle. But you can see... The butt is a little less detailed than the one that was released. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can deny. It seems that this Carrie Fisher diecast figure was already close to being made. 
Kenner wasn't really happy that they didn't have to redesign it. They had an outside firm that did the molds and everything, and they had to send everything back and start over again. So they let this outside firm know to destroy the original mold. Now apparently whoever ran this company was kind of a cut up. Instead of just destroying the mold or making it where it can't be used anymore, they decided to have a little bit more fun. And being that the figure already had a big butt, what did they do? Well, in the steel mold, they carved out bigger breasts. And after that, they actually made a mold of the new prototype with the huge breast and sent it back to Kenner. From what I understand, Kenner got a pretty good kick out of it. They even made a die-cast figure of it. At least one. Big breasts, big butts and all. You know, that was a boy's world back then, I guess. No one was offended that someone made a big butt, big breasted Carrie Fisher die-cast figure. Looking at these molds here, you can see how they dug into the breast area. You would take the back and front of these molds and press them together to make a prototype of the die-cast figure. Luckily, the big boobed, big butt prototype has ended up in a collector's hands along with the steel molds. Uh, it's kind of a little fun story. I do wish Carrie was around. It would be nice to get her take on this story, if she even remembered it. But that's the story of how Carrie Fisher got upset that the die-cast figure of herself had a butt really too big, and the designers thought they would have a lot of fun and give her even bigger breasts. Double up! talking about playboy because silicone parts are made for toys well i want to thank you for watching in the comments below let me know what you think about this story have you heard it before and as always please thumb up so you like my content subscribe to the channel and we'll talk again soon junk man thank you sir for that unsolicited testimony